what's going on guys it's the beast pokeballer here as always coming at you guys with episode two episode two guys of our pokemon theme battle series now today in this episode guys we have a really cool red theme team and we're gonna go over it in just a second but first off i gotta say do you guys like this new layout uh that's just the question of the day i guess you could say I'm not really gonna be doing that for the series but just wondering do you guys like this i made it for the series uh, i made it myself i think it looks really nice i think it looks really nice actually i think it looks really nice if I have to repeat myself again, I'd have to say that it looks really nice. Uh, but yeah, um, there's no thumbnail or logo yet. Those are actually in the process of being made right now um, by my good friend who makes all my GFX, Cohen or Kuhn, uh, Cohen Graphics on Twitter. I'll link his Twitter in the description. So that's being made. So I'll be up for episode three. I'll probably update the uh, thumbnail once it comes out. Uh, but yeah, that that's what we have so far uh, is this really cool layout. Um, but guys, I know you don't really care about that today. What we all definitely care about is the team that we're going to be going with. So like I said, it is red themed. Red as in the trainer red, not the color. Um, people, a lot of people commented red and blue. Um, so that's why next episode we're going to have a blue themed team. So you guys can still go ahead and leave your suggestions to what team we'll be using next week in the comments below. I will definitely still be looking at them, tallying them up, and uh, seeing which ones are the most requested and the most unique. Uh, feel free to leave sets for Pokemon and whatever, guys. Uh, but yeah, so we'll go ahead and go over this team. First off, we have Mega Charizard X, aka what Red had in the uh, Pokemon Origins anime. We have a Gengar, a Lapras, a Snorlax, a Hitmonlee, and a Scyther. So these are all Pokemon that maybe Red didn't use in the battle back in uh, back in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, or Gold and Silver, whatever. Uh, but he has used these, whether it be in the anime, well, the, the uh, Origins anime, or the original games, or it's his team when you fight him in, like, the books or something. Um, so, yeah, this is just based off of that, and like I said, we have a blue one for next week, so that'll be really cool. But, yeah, this is the red one, and I'm really excited. So, without waiting anymore, let's go ahead and go straight to the battles. Okay, guys, so we're searching for a rated single battle spot like we always do, so we're going to do our best two out of three. We're going to do two or three matches, uh, either we win to or we lose to and that's gonna be the episode now we gotta pick our battle oh too late to pick the battle music guess we're going battle music number one anyways we're up against joa o um from brazil i think it said so that'll be fun they have a vivillian a their own gengar they have a breloom a chancy oh god a chancy that's actually awful um a mandibuzz and a greninja so this team's looking pretty powerful uh definitely 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 seeing uh hitmonlee do a lot of work to this team um it is truly scarfed uh, in the back, we'll definitely bring Charizard, and lastly, yeah, Charizard, Charizard blows a lot of this team away too. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, what do we, uh, what do we need lastly? So, so I'm gonna take out the Mandibuzz, maybe we could bring Lapras, what does this Lapras have? Let me just check, double check guys, it's got Ice Beam and Freeze Dry. Alright, so we'll bring the Lapras, it can do work. Um, yeah, we'll go with that, we'll go with that, let's see how it goes. We're waiting for them to pick all their Pokemon, that's alright. How's your guys' days doing? Hopefully you guys are having a great day. I've had a pretty nice day myself. It is Saturday when I'm recording this, so have a pretty good Saturday. And I hope you guys are having a great day yourselves watching this. If you guys do enjoy this series, feel free to leave a like. That'd actually be so appreciated. Uh, it means a ton to me. It really does. It really, really does. So that would be really cool. That would be really cool. Um, hopefully he's not timer stalling. That would be kind of lame. It is just a rated battle spot. I don't think it matters too much. Um, and that's just, I just want to reiterate to you guys real quick that this is just like a for fun series. Don't take this, uh, as my competitive battling skills. I am a fairly decent battler, and I upload Wi-Fi battles every Friday. So, if you want to see my actual competitive battling skills, check out those. Anyways, we're getting ready to go straight into this battle against this guy. What's he gonna do? What is he gonna do? Come on, jo Joa. I don't know how to say that. I do not know how to say that. I uh, must be Brazilian. Uh, but whatever. He is gonna throw out... I, I'm, I'm feeling a connection issue. I'm feeling a connection issue. Are we gonna have a connection issue? Joa. Joa. -ha -ha. Come on, buddy. Alright, there we go. I'm just gonna call him Joe. I don't care if that's not his name. I'm gonna call him Joe. He's only able to Greninja, so actually I think we have a pretty good lead here. Definitely, definitely doesn't think that we're choice scarfed, I'd assume. Um, so we can outspeed... And kind of just go for a nice little uh, high jump kick. Not gonna lie. I think it will kill. Oh no, withdrawal. Oh, don't go into Gengar. Oh lord. Oh god. Oh, that's really depressing. I could have knocked off. I could have knocked off. Hmm. Okay, so I made a misplay. That's okay. Oh god. What the. Oh god. Lapras. I choose you. 
It's probably gonna Will O Wisp. Should have definitely gone into Charizard. Oh, it's a Mega Gengar. All right, I still think we'll be able to outspeed it. Uh, so even if he gets rid of our, what's this thing called? He's probably gonna get rid of our Lapras, unfortunately. Oh God, Sludge Bomb. That's gonna definitely leave a mark. But actually, we live that pretty well, and we'll be able to fire off a nice and powerful Hydro Pump. I'm gonna go for it, cause I know if it hits, we'll do massive damage. What's he gonna do? He's gonna go for the Sludge Bomb again. Are we gonna be able to eat it after the stat boost? I don't think so, but yes! We do live it with 20 HP. Come on, Lapras, we need you. Come on, have your glasses on. There we go, Lapras coming through with that nice and powerful Hydro Pump. And uh, it's not gonna be able to take it out, but it's gonna do a ton of damage. Uh, so that's really good. Good job, Lapras, good job. I'm proud of you. I am, I am. Now, we could go into Charizard and set up a D-Dance. Because I know this thing cannot one-hit kill us. But I think it'll be safer just to go straight into Hitmonlee and knock off. If he wants to switch out, then we'll hit something else with a knockoff, and it will definitely hurt pretty badly. So we'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that. It's definitely a smart move. Knockoff coming through. He now definitely knows where Choice Scarf. There's no way a regular Hitmonlee is going to be able to outspeed a Gengar. Uh, so that's kind of revealed. But that's okay. That's okay. Let's go to Breloom. Breloom, Breloom! Uh, okay, so he has Mach Punch. I... Oh, he also has Rock Dome, doesn't he? Oh, this is, a, this is a pretty bad position. What I think I'm going to do is go into Charizard. Eat the Mach Punch. Then he's going to Rock Dome. And I'll go back in. I will go... B oh, he's going to Spore. Oh, lordy. No, he's going to Mach Punch. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. I mean, actually, I think we can outspeed. Can't we? Yeah, we definitely can. I'm going to Mega Evolve and Flare Blitz. I don't think he should be able to outspeed. And even if he does, it's not super duper effective. I don't think it'll be enough to take us out. It will lower our speed though, so that is kind of scary. Yeah, this Flare Blitz is going to come in strong. Tough Claws boosted, Stab, a really powerful move. Focus Sash. Ah, I should have known. My next guess. Uh, he's probably going to put us to sleep, right? Hmm. Rock Dome, really? I think we'll be able to live. Uh, but the thing about living this Rock Dome is that we're not going to. So he has Greninja left. He has Greninja and Breloom. And it's only safe to lock ourselves in the high jump kick. But does Greninja have Shadow Sneak? Oh my god. I don't know. I guess we risk it. Greninja, if Greninja has, oh, Mach Punch, is that going to kill? I don't think so, is it? No, no, oh, we get, okay, okay, we lose the first battle, that's okay, we put up a nice fight, um, I, mean, I forgot about Mach Punch, my bad, um, but either way, I think we did well, uh, unfortunately, Flare Blitz, I, I, I guess I should have stayed in, and, uh, knock off to break the Sash, um, that's okay, I'll go ahead and see you guys in the second battle. Hopefully we can bring out a win and we don't just go 0-2 in one episode because that would kind of suck. Uh, but yeah, see you guys there. Alright guys, searching for our next battle. We're at 3-3 three and three as our record so far. I'll go ahead and go to music number 5. I don't know what that is, but uh, hopefully it's it's straight hot fire. Uh, we still have a positive record as you guys can see so far. Now we're going against Japanese man from Saitama, Japan. I probably pronounced that incredibly wrong. Uh, but looking at his team, I see that... Okay, he, he has a Hydreigon, a Mega Metagross, I'd assume, a Snorlax, oh, of course he has to have Talonflame, a Slowbro, which is probably not a Mega, and a Sylveon. Uh, I think that our best lead for this one's going to be Gengar. We have a Life Orb Gengar, which does pretty good work against his team. Uh, in the back, what what can necessarily destroy this Talonflame? Uh, I guess, I guess, I mean, Charizard, if it's at full health. We're going to bring Charizard either way. Um, so what what can we not take care of with this? I think that his Snorlax is pretty scary. So do we bring uh, a Snorlax for Snorlax? I mean, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, but is he really going to bring the Snorlax? I think that overall Hitmonlee does more work. Uh, so we're going to bring a very similar team to last time. Snorlax and Scyther still haven't had a chance, but hopefully if we get into Game 3, they both allow their time to shine. Hopefully we go into Game 3. I don't want to lose two in one episode. That'd be kind of sad, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Alright, waiting for him to pick his team. I am kind of afraid of the Talonflame. Talonflame's really, really, really hard to deal with. Uh, it's really hard to deal with in Battle Spot. 
Uh, especially with a theme team, I don't always build around what I'm gonna see. I'm more more build around, you know, what the theme is, because um, that's the more important thing, I'd say. But hopefully we can stay positive. Alright, what you gonna lead with, dude? What are you gonna lead with? He's gonna lead out to- okay, no, we're gonna lead out with our Gengar, which I think was definitely our best lead. Uh, it's shiny, as you can totally tell. Um, anyways, he's gonna lead out with his Hydreigon, which looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. Um, so, I think... Do we have anything to hit it, really? We have Focus Blast, but he has Dark Pulse, so we're gonna switch into Hitmonlee. Should be able to eat this really nicely. Dark Pulse. Yes, there we go. Did he have anything that could... Uh, I don't remember if he had anything that could eat a high jump kick. Well, either way, I'm going to just go for it. Or I could knock off, predict the switch. Well, he probably thinks he's going to outspeed and stay in, right? No, okay. Did he have a ghost type? Oh, I really don't think he did. I really hope not. Talonflame. I could have stone edged. I could have stone edged. Massive damage! I could have knock off, too. That would have been really smart. Rocky helmet, of course. Um, do I want to sack anything? Uh, if we get Charizard set up, I know we can definitely take out the. Hmm. I don't. I guess we're gonna stay in. No, I feel like staying in kind of sucks. I almost wish we were the normal gem set. I mean, we still be outsped and killed. I'll just stay in high jump kick. Why not? Why not? Yeah, he's gonna go for Brave Bird, of course. Ugh, this isn't looking good, guys. But I think we can maybe pull something out. I think we can pull something out. I think we should be good. And yeah. Now, coming into Charizard right now is definitely what we're going to do. But what is weird about that is that I don't know. I'm almost afraid that. What does he have to eat the Dragon Claw? I mean, obviously, he's not going to go into his, uh, Hydreigon. Because he doesn't need a Dragon Claw. Clearly, we'll take him out, right? Alright, I think we should be able to take out this Talon Flame. I did Mega Evolve, right? If I didn't, then we definitely lose. But if I did... Yeah, okay, we did. Cool. So we get the Stab Tough Claws boosted. Um, I know that this Brave Bird's going to hurt. I know it's going to hurt for sure. But, he's gonna taunt. Uh, actually, dude, that's fine by me. Yeah, I guess he was predicting the Dragon Dance. Uh, it sucks because we can't roost, but it also doesn't suck because now he's dead. That is a dead Talonflame, which was probably his biggest threat against us. What still scares me is the, uh, Hydreigon. It still is scary. I don't know what I'd do against it. I guess I'd have to stay in and attack. Um, we know that he's probably Scarfed. And we know that Gengar can eat it, right? Can Gengar eat too? Hmm, we have to play this right if we want to win. So let's think. He's either going to go for Dragon Pulse, Draco Meteor, or Dark Pulse here. I don't think he would risk the Dark Pulse. So I'm going to go into Gengar. Hopefully we'll be able to eat two Dragon Pulses. Or if he goes for Draco, I'm pretty confident we'll be able to eat two. Well, actually, maybe not. It might actually be an Oko. Oh god. Yeah, uh, if this takes us out, actually, I will be okay with that. I actually will be fine. Actually, I want this to take us out. Yes, okay, that actually puts us in a really nice position. Because we can set up a Dragon Dance with Charizard. Okay? Okay. I know we can use... You, uh, I know we can take a minus two Draco Meteor. I know we can. We have to be able to. It only makes sense. So we'll Dragon Dance here. Oh, he's gonna stay in. That's even better, because he's gonna be like minus four and we can roost. We're outspeeding him. He's gonna go for it again. We're gonna avoid. That's even better. It means we can go for another one, as uh, the great DJ Khaled would say. Now, do we need another one? I don't know what his last play. I don't wanna mess it up, but still. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna Dragon Dance. We'll definitely build you, right? Uh, did I get too greedy? Am I going to cost the battle with that? Let's find out. 
He's gonna connect. I again I don't think it'll be enough. <laughs> it was enough. Critical hit, you're kidding me! Ah, oh, The critical hit actually messed us up so badly right there, didn't it? Um, but guys, I guess that's the battle. Unfortunately, he got a little bit haxy and I got a little bit too greedy. And uh, it paid off for him in the end. But that is episode two. <laughs> Sorry that we lost. Uh, hopefully next episode we'll be able to bring our record back up to a positive one. Maybe we'll even go 2-0. But I'll see you guys next Monday with the blue theme battle. Remember to still leave your suggestions, uh, Pokemon sets, everything in the comments below, guys. And without further ado, let the outro roll.